Shalom, shalom, shalom. Israel giving all praise to Yahweh. Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Hakadash. The bond said, "How does GMS rule out saying to you, 'I out there pushing his word and truth, sincerely risking your freedom and your life to do so, more so now than ever before.'" Um, we are at the end days, brothers. Uh, we are getting super, super, super close. Um, and the scriptures show you signs um, of the Lord's coming, and. Uh, and one of the signs were, you know, the Heavenly Father used to to make aware of his people is the moon. And it's a scripture for that. Uh, Shalakia, give me a second. Sign. Uh, give me one second. So this is Sirach. Or oh, Ecclesiasticus 43 and 7. From the moon is the sign. Let's start. Let's see. Hold on. Because it might be a little more. Right. So. This is Sirach 43 verse 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a decoration of times and a sign of the world. So the moon is supposed to declare certain times. And it's supposed to be a sign of where the world the world is currently at or the stage of the world you see and um one of the signs is this Joel 2 and 31 the sun shall be turned to a darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the lord come so the, the lord turns the moon red or blood moons or shows certain signs for the israelites to understand um what's about to take place on earth so as of September 29th, during the time of this recording, will be uh, tomorrow. On September 29th, the full moon will also be a super moon because the moon is at the nearest point in its orbit of the Earth during the full moon. Known as the harvest moon, that's heavy, harvest moon, it will also be the year's fourth and final super moon. The previous three full moons, one in July, two in August, were also super low. So look at that. So it was one in July and two in August. So August was a heavy, heavy month, super heavy month. Um, so, you know, of course, I had to do a little bit deeper because um, Yahweh Shah, when he walked the scene, he made a lot of references to agriculture. And part of the agriculture was harvesting. And when you look up the definition of harvest, it's the process of or period of gathering crops. Now, why is this important? Because the elect is considered the um, the grain or the wheat of the Lord, um, and he's about to send. He's about to be sent to retrieve us to save the elect. So this is Amos nine. And nine. For lo, I will, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations because all Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got scattered throughout the whole world after we we uh, we got taken down out of Jerusalem. The northern kingdom, which is the so-called Latin and Native American tribes, went to Assyria, the Assyrian captivity, and then later into America under. This current captivity. And then the southern kingdom, the so-called African Americans, West Indians, and uh, Haitians, went went in, um, from Jerusalem to West Africa, straight into slavery, and Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, in the islands um, of the sea. So he said, the Lord, I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. So he's going to sift us meaning separate us um, from all nations that we've been driven to because Israel is in all nations. Like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet should not the least grain fall upon the earth. So why is the Lord always giving reference to a harvest? Because we're considered his, his grain, all right, his wheat, you see? Um, all the sinners of my people should die by the sword. Which 
uh, which say the evil should not overtake nor prevent us. And a lot of people, I, a lot of our people say that, and they're gonna be overtaken by the, the evils that come. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. And he's gonna make us a mighty, mighty people again. Um, but it, it first starts with um, understanding you are Israelite, and, and we're getting close to these times where everything is about to snap, everything is about to break, and the Lord is about to reveal the harvest. The, I, the reason why it's called a harvest moon, all right? Um, yeah, so it's going to happen tomorrow. You know, people are going to be looking up as a beautiful thing, but it's deeper than just the the, the beauty of the moon. This is the message from the Heavenly Father to the people of the earth um, to get right before he comes back and destroys this place. Uh, this is Matthew 24, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. How is he going to appear? With a big fathership, all right? Big UFO. Which, the scripture said, Ezra said, he's seen him standing on it. Clearly showing he's coming in great power. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Why? Because the heavenly, the heavenly Father is sending his son to make war with the people of the earth. So they're going to mourn. They're going to cry. And they ain't going to be able to do nothing against it because it's a full uh, takeover, a new government to govern the earth, which is the last kingdom to rule forever, which is the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, uh, the kingdom of the Israelites, all right? We're going to rule. And they should see the Son of Man coming with the clouds, in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Clouds of heaven, again, UFOs, all right? Um, scriptures call them angels. Scriptures call them clouds. Scriptures call them chariots. But it's actually UFOs, all right? These angelic beings that defy laws of gravity, that defy laws of nature. These are the things which the, the Lord and Savior of Israel is coming back in, all right? Angelic force, all right, to deliver the elect of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Israelites. Verse 31, and he shall send his angels with a sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So that's a part of us being gathered into his bond. Oh, you can get that. Into his bond. Let me see. Let me see some. Right. Matthew 13. 13 and 30, let both roll together until the harvest. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at the harvest. Again, harvest. Process a period of gathering crops, all right? And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together, first the tares, and bind them in bundles and burn them. And, that, and that's, that's talking about the wicked, you other nations. And uh, two thirds of our people um, during the time of World War Three, because that's coming very soon, they're gonna be burnt with fire, and bind them and bundle them and burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. See, so that there you go, gather the wheat into my barn. So it's no coincidence that they're naming they're naming this uh, this moon that's coming up tomorrow, which is September 29th, uh, uh, harvest moon. All right, this is no coincidence. We are in a time of the harvest where the elect is really going to be um, gathered. All right. So, hey, man, stay prayed up, man. We're close to that time. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh. Until next year, shalom.